Okay, we're back to you reporting from Vancouver, British Columbia at Expo 86. It's beautiful here. The weather is a little bit cold, but we don't care because Expo is a fun place to be and we're very happy. We mentioned the wide international gathering here, and one interesting note is that for the first time, the U.S., the Soviet Union, and Communist China are all represented at a world exposition at, on the North American continent. There, this is the largest uh, exposition on a special theme, and of course, every participant has a pavilion, and those pavilions are all designed on the theme, A World in Motion, A World in Touch. Those pavilions are the backbone of Expo. Here's a look. When you get to Expo, you may find you need help locating the pavilion you want to see. But these computerized information booths graphically spell out where you want to go and can even give you a little history of the place. Let the pioneering spirit in you come alive as you journey through the covered wagon time tunnel. Behind me is the Oregon Pavilion. It stands between those for California and Washington. And over here is the U.S. Pavilion, inside a breathtaking portrait of the American space program. This is a dramatic simulation of blast-off, with views on a screen so large it's like being there. Well, this shows you what happens to the boosters after they take off from the shuttle, and um, it shows you how they recover them and get them ready for the next space mission. Guides also help explain the history of the U.S. space program, its successes and failures. The Soviets, too, emphasized their space program. A towering cosmonaut sets their pavilion apart from the rest of the buildings here. A larger-than-life bust of Lenin greets visitors who can also marvel at the Soviets' expansive network of transportation and communication from city to city. They also feature their nuclear-powered icebreaker, which has made year-round navigation in the Arctic possible. Welcome to Japan, says the greeter, and here visitors can see another elaborate transportation system. This is what Tokyo would look like if you could see it all at one time. There is a pavilion representing every area of the globe. The Northwest Territories is one of the largest land masses in the world. The majority of the people are native, and that makes communication and transportation for them vital to life. Now that's just some of the pavilions, and there's so many, many more, it's no wonder that Expo officials figure the average day is three days. It will take you at least that long to see it all. Not to look at the pavilions, but actually Randy Ripplinger has had a tough assignment. He's been having fun here. <laughs> you better believe it. We've had a lot of fun. The Expo theme, of course, is centering around technology, and even though the Expo people had a lot of fun with their theme of communication and transportation, we decided to go out and have a look at it, and we had a lot of fun, too. Are you with them? Are they friends of yours? Well, they're not friends of mine, but they still... Cantonese, how about you speak Cantonese? Cantonese? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> no problem getting directions here in most any language. The Expo 86 theme, a world in touch, a world in motion, technology-oriented, every exhibit and pavilion displaying man's trek through transportation and communication. High-tech, but not ho-hum. While most every fair of this sort has a monorail, this one interconnects with the city's own mass transit system, SkyTrain, a pilotless computerized people mover that speeds to the Vancouver suburbs at 50 miles an hour. Gondolas span the Expo skies too. There are other symbols of transportation as well, some of which just leave you hanging. But if you really want to get nowhere fast, you've got to try the Scream Machine, a roller coaster of sorts. A word of warning, though, eat after you ride this one. Take it from somebody who's had the experience. And here comes the first big one. Holy smoke, and the loop! Ah! And what's this ahead? Oh, no, not the corkscrew! One! And a two! Ah, you 
What constitution you have, Randy? Uh, well, if that isn't enough to make you sick, there's also the space shuttle that turns upside down. They've got the log flume, a lot of other things, all centered around transportation, of course. This is very serious business. That's right. I haven't been on the screen machine yet, and I don't think I will be. It looks a little too tough for me, but it's Four a lot of fun. Four times in a row for me. That was enough. Thanks. <laughs> Where do you have the time to do that? We've been working ever oh, since we got here. Oh, it was all for here. television. You know, we were working. <laughs> we were right. working. That's right. Thanks a lot, Randy. Well, you can see this is Expo 86, and we've had a lot of fun. There's a lot more. We're going to be reporting back to you live at 6.30 for more on Expo 86, so I hope you'll see us then. Now back to you in the studio. Julie, let me ask you something. You've been in the city for a while. What tips would you have on people traveling up there? Has there been anything that you've found that has surprised you? Uh, how would you tell people to get around the city? get around the city that might be a problem because there is a lot of traffic here but basically I think it's pretty spelled out there's a lot of people that are really helpful they're glad to see you here the city the people here in Vancouver are very excited to have visitors we've been very well received so I don't think that that's a problem I think you'll have a lot of time you will want to spend a lot of time at Expo there are really a lot of things to see and I was very surprised I didn't think I'd have as much fun as I did so I'd like to stay a couple of days longer if that's okay with you guys back there well, it's not okay with me because I miss you back here, partner. So I okay, want you to we'll come be back, back here. On Monday. But I'm Thanks, glad you're Jeff. having a lot of fun up there. And once again, yeah. they'll be live again at 6:30. And what exciting! Expo 86, Julie Emery and Randy Ripplinger. And there's still more news.